Sige. Okay, can you see my screen, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Let's, okay, let's continue, ha? So, uh, previously, ang topic natong is regarding the safety of the tourists. So, this is just a continuation because I was not able to finish everything uh, last Monday. So, uh, right now, ang aton nga lesson is about the tourist safety health and the tour guide so by the end of these topics you will be able to explain reasons as to why visitors are prone to health and safety risk while at destinations uh, discuss preventive measures a tour guide may apply in regards to health and safety of tourists and then assess potential health and safety risks that exist at tourist attractions so if you can see here sa photo na to no uh, diri pa lang adaan, we can see some Nga mga, let's say, for example, nga pwede mag-post sang danger sa aton nga mga guest considering, for example, nga mga bago sila sa ilang mga destination. Uh, for example, Ari, you know what is this, right? Balot. Balot. Yep, right? This is a good nami nga food when you are a Filipino. But uh, other nationalities, actually, they don't like eating that, although it's unfamiliar sa ila. Another one is this one. So, an accident. In kagat sang snake, ang isa katurista. Possible. Ari. Mga food, for example, food uh, poisoning. Mga layaw nga ido, nga possible, nga pwede makakagat sa mga turista. Right? So, these are some of uh, the situations nga pwede agyan sa aton mga guest while on tour. We're not asking for it, but these are uh, inevitable or possible nga hindi natin maiwasan nga mga um, situations. Okay? So, ano ang mga physical and environmental risk manifest sang tourist. Okay, so lantawunin nyo dire sa pinakadalom. Ang aton iban nyo turista are unaware of natural characteristics of the destination and their effects, in particular of its flora and fauna. So when we say nya unaware of natural characteristics, sometimes wala sila kabalo nga ang ila galig touch nga bulak or ang ilang na encounter ng mga animals are dangerous. May ara nga mga bulak nga, if you example, aller, allergic. And then pagkatapos kinkaptan mo, so you're allergy to pollen, ikaw abe. So that's a possible risk also. That's a safety and health risk. Number two, they are not prepared from the medical viewpoint, which is the vaccination. So we have some tourists nga prior to visiting sa isa ka destination, actually, ginarequire sila. I remember when I went, uh, when I was planning to go to Bali, Indonesia last year, I was required by my friend nga konta ko dito sa Indonesia to have a polio vaccination prior sa pagsulod sa sa Bali, Indonesia, because it's the requirement. And uh, number three, they do not take precaution in their eating and hygiene habits. And then number four, they are exposed to emergencies like natural disasters, epidemics arising from the physical environment. So let me proceed no? now. Now, However well planned a vacation package is, this, they, there may arise emergency situations. So, Pareho na bala nga well prepared ka na, very much prepared na ikaw sa imo mga tourist. So there are may ara gid ya nga mga nagakatabo, nga mga safe uh, safety and health risk nga mabutang sa imo nga guest or sa mga tourist in danger. Okay? So ang tour guide, ano ang role sa tour guide? So the tour guide will therefore need to handle emergency occurrences applying safety and health procedures and for our discussion emergency situations relating to health and safety will be limited to those that are of physical and environmental risk and may include so who can read this six nga mga environmental and physical risk nga possible nga matabo sa atong nga mga guest anybody please number 1 who can read no oh, sir yes go ahead please Number one, heat stroke and heat exhaustion and dehydration. Very good. Can you please continue until number six? Yes, sir. Number two, common cold or flu, stomach ache and diarrhea. Number three, insect and animal string, stings, bites and attacks. Number four, cuts and bruises. Number five, allergies and sunburns. Number six, poisoning food 
and plants. Yes, okay. Thank you. May I know your name? Nico, Sir Divino. Uh, Miss Nico. Mr. Sir. Mr. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, heat stroke, very common gidine, if uh, we are traveling, especially ko sa mga destinations nga medyo mainit. Uh, heat exhaustion and dehydration. Like what? Where? Uh, you go to Dubai. You go to United Arab Emirates. You go to uh, Abu Dhabi. Uh, Philippines is also common. Uh, diri sa mga tropical countries. So as a tour guide, ano ang pwede mo ma-advise? Uh, this question is for ano ha sa tanan? Uh, who wants to an answer? You can just go ahead and answer. So as a tour guide, Ano ang pwede mo ma-advise sa imo nga tourist if you know, for example, nga ay makadto kita sa mountain, mainit na dito. So, for example, you are conducting an orientation. Uh, what advices can you give to your guest para nga maiwasan mo ni or imo ma-avoid ining number one? Anybody? Sir? Yes, go ahead. Um, I will advise my tourists to bring water, sir, to mm -hmm. avoid oh, stroke and dehydration. Uh -huh. What's your name? Padasa, sir. Padasa. Go, Padasa. go ahead. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, sir. Yes, go ahead, please. Um, proper outfit na, uh, when they are going outside. Yes, sir. yes. And uh, apply that's... some sunscreen detector. Aha, uh -huh. that's very uh very important get especially ikaw ang tourist, uh, ikaw ang tour guide, I'm sorry, ikaw ang kabalo kun ano ang imo nga i-advise sa imo mga guests. So, ang uh, number 1, Mr. Padasa said that to bring water. Yes. Usually, uh kun ara naman na sa isa ka tour, uh, usually ang travel agency, ang tour operator, they are actually providing, naga-provide na sila sa mga water, but uh, just uh Pwede man niya nga mag-advise ikaw to, sa imo mga guests to bring extra water, especially if you're going to area nga wala na kamuya sa may mabaklan. But then, me as a travel agency owner, I see to it kidya per me nga may ara kami nga cold water or cold towels nga available, especially if you're going to areas or places nga daw medyo mainit. And then, dapat makahydrate ka yet. You should hydrate ka dapat. So, i-inform mo kita sa imo guest. Okay? Uh, applying sang applying sang applying sang uh, sunscreen is also good. And then, of course, wearing sang proper nga um, outfit. Okay? Um, better siguro inang mga medyo light materials nga mga bayo para nga though hindi mag-contribute nga mag-init kitang lawas. Okay? Uh, number two? Number sir? two? Yes. Sir, sa number one bala, sir? Mm -hmm. Pwede man, sir, nga mag, ano nang ilan, sir, mag na, sir, sa medicine bala, sir, sa may mga high blood. Yes, yes. Uh -oh. um, that's very good. Uh, Ma-ready sa medicine sa may high blood to avoid heat stroke no or stroke. Pero ako, personally, uh, sang nagkadto kami sa Beijing, sa Great Wall of China, and then upod ko ang ako niya mga guest. Personally ako, gina-advise ko na yung adaan ng ako niya mga guest, especially ginamangkot ko sila sin o diri ang may high blood or sin o diri ang daw may fear of heights or especially sa mga mainiton, for example, nga daw hindi sila makastan sang init, nga if possible, nga hindi na lang sila magsaka. Kay the moment nga magsaka sila, for example, daw kabudlay na magbalik, especially kung makabatsyag sila sang malain nga, uh, makabatsyag sila sang daw, they're not feeling well sa babaw na sang great wall, kabudlay manao. That's why I usually I also advise them nga stay na lang there. But since, siyempre, ang iba niya, guest, ma-insist man ang aari, nagit kami sa Beijing, pwede magsaka na lang kami. So, bisan hambalon ta siguro nga, okay, it's your own risk, ha? You have to take the risk na masaka ka mo, despite nga gin-advise na ka mo. But still, if something happens sa imo guest, if something happens sa imo nga guest, imo man na responsibility. Okay. Uh, number two, Mr. Bargo, are you there? 
Yes, sir. Yes, can you please read number two and uh, uh, as a tourist guide, ano maybe ang possible nga pwede mo ma-advise sa imong mga guest to avoid uh, this uh, situation ng mga health risk para sa imong mga guest? Uh, siguro, sir, nung magdala lang sila sa mga bagay nga needed nila para while nag trip hindi sila masyado sa inang comfortable lang bala sila kung ano lang nila madala. Mm-hmm. So, Mr. Bargo, I'm I'm referring to number two. Avoid diarrhea or stomach ache or common cold or flu. Okay, I think nadula si Mr. Bargo. I'll just continue, no? Sige. Um, I would also advise ang uh, guest naton niya, hindi ka mo mag... You know, uh, if we are outside, kag... Uh, gusto gid natin niya mag-try sang lain-lain niya mga food but siguro bring medicine amo gid ni per me ang mga common niya mga sakit-sakit even uh, this is based on our personal experience amo gid ni ang common niya mga sakit-sakit stomach ache and diarrhea or what we call the traveler's diarrhea kay ang mga traveler mahilig magtilaw-tilaw sa mga pagkaon sa street wala sila kabalo gali niya do mahigko or whatever so that's part of the experience that's part of the experience, especially if you're traveling. So, better lang siguro to bring medicine. Okay, I'll continue. Ha? Insect animal sting. So, apply sa mga, apply sa mga bulong-bulong or insect repellent maybe. Allergies and sunburns bring uh, madalas ang ilang mga bulong. And then, for the, excuse me, for poisoning, of course, check si to eat kid niya ang ginakaon ninyo. Especially if you are outside sa inyo yung balay, if you are traveling or cook nga mga pagkaon do not if possible try sa mga raw food uh, nga you think is hindi ka mo yasanay amo na okay i'll continue now ako naman diri so sa safety health risks and tour guides mitigation so ano ya ang mga pwede ihambal sang isa ka tour guide sa iya nga mga guests in order to avoid this like stomach ache, diarrhea, allergies, accidents and attacks and then flu, influenza A and B. Anybody who can read number 1 please? Anyone? Lang, sir. Yes, go ahead. Ako na lang. Yes, yes, anybody. Just please Some read. Stomach ache and diarrhea. Have to be stop or unsafe water. Steam. Um, both rivers and streams. Even if it looks clear, our students are not close to the eye. Okay. Inform visitors to temper. Temper intact. Caution visitors consumption of hide on the streets or trying out strange local foods and drinks that seem risky. Okay, thank you so much. No, so I am going to send you this one. Uh, safety health risks and targets mitigation. These are the things that you will advise sa inyong mga guests uh, if you are leading a tour. Okay, uh, for allergies, please. Any volunteer who can read? Sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, bisan sin o lang kayo wala. Hindi ko kamo makita. I'm looking at the screen. Uh, ako na lang, sir. Go ahead. Allergies. Ensure tourists with allergies are kept away from allergy source, sources like animals, foods, insects, dust, and plants. Can you continue with accidents and attacks, please? Accidents and attacks. Alert the tourists on possible risks that they may encounter attractions which may include touching wild animals and insects, walking, stipulated paths, keeping safe distance from wi wildlife, going beyond safe points, taking to safety precautions. Next, advise visitors on suitable shoes and clothing for excursions. Match visitor capabilities like age, gender, to activities like hiking, swimming, rafting, and etc. Remind tourists to observe safety signs and warnings while attractions 
and always confirm with a tour guide before including on high-risk activity. Only use qualified safety guides in high-risk attractions if you lack the required competency. Lack okay. Yes, last, please continue. Flu influenza A and B, a virus that attacks the body spreading through the upper and low upper and or lower respiratory tract that is common in cold conditions. Thank you so much. Okay, so for the allergies, no, we have to ensure tourists nga malayo sila sa mga animals, foods, insects, or dust nga nagakos ng allergic reaction. Mabudlay ang allergic reaction. Okay lang kung daw simple. Pero if ever, for example, nga mga sting sang bee, for example, nga nagakos gid ina nga ang inga uh, nagakos gid ina sang reaction sa imong body nga sometimes hindi ka kaginhawa that is a very serious incident nga dapat ang tourist uh, ang tour guide kabalugid uh, maghandle including also accidents and attacks sa mga wild animals uh, accidents that may happen so you have to advise visitor kung anong pwede nga gamiton and then you ha they have to take care. So though hindi pwede nga magsawa kita or hindi pwede nga i-stop naton ang paghatag sang reminder sa aton mga guest because for as long as upod ta ang aton mga guest, we as the tour guide kita gidya ang pinaka responsible sa ila. Okay? So influenza A and B so, amo lang na, um, maybe to advise them to cover their mouth and nose when sneezing, coughing, and especially kung damo sang tawo, maybe wearing of mask, okay? So, flu continuation, I'll just read it. And then, sa heat exhaustion and heat stroke is caused when people are not well adjusted to heat exercise in hot, humid environment. So, Ano ang mga pwede naton nga mga response procedure, especially kung daw medyo na-feel naton nga ang aton isa ka guest uh, na heat stroke. Okay, so uh, rest in a cool shaded area. Give cool fluids such as water or sports drink. Amo ini ang mag-replace ang electrolytes, especially nagkaka-heat stroke kita if we have the electrolyte imbalance sa aton nga lawas. Okay, loosen or remove clothing. Apply cool water to skin. Do not use an alcohol rub and do not give any beverages containing alcohol or caffeine. Okay. Now, dealing with emergency situations. In the case of an emergency, the following procedure is important for the tour guide to follow. Number one, remain calm. Because if you are uh, nagpanic na ikaw, actually you don't know na hindi ka nakapanumdom kung ano ang maayo nga ubrahon. So in any situation, you have to remember to always remain calm. Para nga kabalu ka kung ano ang number nga tawagan mo, mga emergency numbers on what to do, what are the procedures that you need to do para makahatag sang emergency intervention sa imo guest. Okay? Number two, remember the time is crucial. Use it wisely and efficiently. Number three, try to discover the cause of illness by checking on the symptoms and noting them. Number four, control the crowd. Call the ambulance and direct the paramedics to the site. Number five, note the time of the day, the attraction or site you are at. Verify if the visitor is traveling alone or with a companion if not part of a group tour. Practice safe hygiene and protect personal belonging and valuable. So, guys, I am going to end here. Amusini ang aton nga pinaka main topic diri. So, it summarizes only ano ang mga pwede ubrahon, ano ang pwede ubrahon sang mga tour guide like us. If ever nga maglid kita later on sang aton nga tour, in case, for example, nga may matabo nga mga situations just like this okay i am going to entertain any questions if you have please do let me know if you have any questions please you may raise your hand if you have any question